Yo, what's going on producers and artists alike? It's TK Common Interest here with another tutorial. Today we're going to be working this out of Native Instruments Machine and we'll be making some creative vocal effects using some of Machine's internal plugins. So, let's get into it. I already got a sample loaded up. Here's what it sounds like. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Dragon Ball Z. Not my voice at its finest, but Machine is going to help me sound much better. So, let's go to Inserts, Internal. And let's go to grain delay. Now, I don't know how many of you machine users out there actually use the grain delay, but it's pretty versatile and you can get some cool vocal effects out of it depending on the way you use it. So let's turn the mix knob all the way up so the sound is fully affected. The grain delay has two sides to it, grain and cloud. I like to start affecting the grain first. Make your way over the pitch. I'm gonna pitch my voice up three semitones. See how that sounds. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Dragon Ball Z. This sounds way better than my original voice. I actually sound like a sexy female Android 18, if I might say so myself. <laughs> Let's make you aware of its size now. Now what size is doing is determining how long the grain or delay is. So turn it up. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. You get a longer delay. If you turn it down, you get a shorter delay. I'm going to keep it short. What Jitter does is add artifacts to your sound. So if you turn it up, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Dragon Ball Z. You get a choppier sound. I'm not a fan of that, so I'm going to keep it at zero. Make your way over to the cloud section and turn down density. And we're going to head over to a space. Now, what space does is actually determine the space between your grains. Or your delays. So if you turn it up, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Dragon Ball Z. It starts panning your grains or delays left and right. I'm going to keep it more centered, so I'm going to turn it down to 15%. Don't go anywhere. That's right. Now, density acts as feedback on the cloud side. If you turn it up, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You get a lot of feedback, so I'm going to turn it down and keep it at 10%. That's good. Don't affect the mod. Let's go to output. And like I said, I want this sound to be pretty centered, not mono, but not all over the place as well. So 30%, let's see how it sounds now. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Dragon Ball Z. All right, my sound is sounding pretty dope right now, but I wanna take it one step further and create something called the reverse reverb effect. So I'm gonna set up a reverb on the group E, sound one, and I'm gonna choose a meta verb. You guys can choose whatever reverb you want, do you. I'm gonna have a big room size, 75%. Turn my highs up a bit, and turn my output mix up to about 70, so the sound can have a long tail. I'm going to go back up to group A. Let's head over to the mixing tab. Make sure your aux is turned on. Go to aux one on sound one and send that sound to the reverb that you just set up. Let's see how it sounds now. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Dragon Ball Z. It's pretty wet. Turn it down a bit. <laughs> All right, here's the final step for creating the sound. You want to head over to your machine controller, select the pad that you want, now reverse it. Now you want to go to pad mode and put that same sound in link group 1. Now go to an empty pad that you want to record that sound to and put that in link group 1 as well. Now you want to press the sampling button and make sure you're sampling internally from your machine. Press start so you can start recording the source. Now trigger sound one using the empty pad that we just set up in link group one. Make sure you let the sound completely ring out before stopping the recording. Your sound should now be recorded onto the empty pad you just set up. Now let's unlink the two pads we just set up in link group one so they won't trigger each other during playback. Now I'm going to play the sound we just recorded so you can hear how it sounds.
Reverse the sample again so your vocals are now playing forward instead of backwards. And the sound is finally complete. It should sound a little something like this. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Dragon Ball Z. Alright, I hope this video helps you guys find new ways to process your vocals with the machine. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like down below, subscribe, and make sure you let me know which videos you guys would like to see next in the comments below. As always, stay tuned for more vids to come in the future. Peace. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Dragon Ball Z. What do you say, Kakarot? No thanks. That was luck. I'm the second strongest Saiyan in the universe. I'd say that makes you the third.